conservatives with more vitriol than they do ISIS because they know there's no consequences to attack conservatives. Their bosses from Brooklyn know that they can get away with it, so they do it. The only intervention against ISIS came from Putin. He is supporting the Assad regime militarily in its fight against ISIS. And he's trying to create an international coalition to fight terrorism and extremism. Unfortunately, Obama won't join him. Why? Because Hillary Clinton and Obama have created a new Cold War with Russia. So what can I say to you? 70 years ago, Russia and the West were at loggerheads. They came together to defeat Nazism. Now a new form of Nazism has emerged. The greatest threat to humanity right now is Islamist, Islamofascism. And we're sitting here powerless, frozen. Obama, conciliatory. Rapprochement with the terrorists of Iran. Rapprochement with the uh, re uh, terrorists of Cuba. Why? What is Obama doing here? Is he, is he ignorant or is he cooperative? What is he doing? This cancer of ISIS must be stopped. It's, and and the, the humanitarian crisis needs to be stopped immediately. They need to be turned back, not taken in. And if the Pope wants everyone to take in a family, he should start in the Vatican. He had the nerve to tell everyone to take in a family of refugees. The Vatican has a lot of empty bedrooms, a lot of aging priests up there. Put them in there. Put 10,000 Syrians in the Vatican and get back to me in six months. Maybe they could build a mosque on the grounds of the Vatican to show how, you know, put their money where their mouth is. There's Vatican Square. They could put a mosque in there. Put one on the Dome of St. Peter. You know, take down the Coca-Cola stand. So wherever you look, it's such hypocrisy. Meanwhile, we're looking at the world's coming to an end. And look at the Prime Minister of England. Look at this jerk. Look at this guy. Like, they get in these positions and then they do nothing. Migrant crisis. Britain falling apart. Police afraid to walk into, in, in their own cities. Could you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Now, uh, some people are saying there's no way to defeat ISIS while their promise of murder, rape, and destruction appeals to so many Muslims across the world. Remember, any of these low-life failures who join ISIS, they get to kill with impunity, not respect the Geneva Convention. They can torture, they can kill. And then they get all these eight-year-old girls they can rape. They give them the girls for free and the wives. They give them away men's wives. They get to rape them. Not a word from the perverts at the UN. Busy stuffing their own pockets. Yeah. <laughs> It's right in front of our eyes. Right in front of our eyes. And all we hear about is Israel. All the leftists are obsessed with is Israel and the West Bank. They don't have one word to say against the Islamo-fascists who are doing such damage to the, to the world. Not one word. Anyway, that, that's the third hour. I didn't mean to go and get too serious. I started out much lighter today. If you missed it, I'm sorry. You missed the great opening. My LA trip, the motor mouth girl. The French Strongman, French Clocks. You can see the French Strongman on michaelsavage.com. I have never seen anyone as big as him, black or white, never. I don't understand how anyone gets that big. I had to go up to him. That's why I went up to him. I just wanted to ask him, like, who is this? So he's not only a, a, weight, a bodybuilder, but he is this number one strongman in France. Like He pulls buses or something with his teeth. I don't know how. He'd be a great movie star if he spoke English. He could be a, a, Jean, a combo, Jean-Claude. He makes... Schwarzenegger looks small. He makes Schwarzenegger at his best look puny. Maybe he can come here and become a governor. I don't know. The French strongman. I'll give him some English lessons. We could take over the state. People seem to like muscles and tattoos, not brains. They, that's what they go for. Muscles and tattoos. No, that's a joke. Jerry Brown has neither. Look where he is. Oh, I can see we're running into a little times problem here. It is 18 minutes after the hour. You're listening to one and only Savage Nation. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Horrible. I'm going to go back to the 50s. This stuff stinks. 
Here's a headline for you on the Savage Nation. A white guy named Michael couldn't get his poem published, then he became Yi Fen Shu. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? An author had to change his name to a Chinese name in order to get published here in America. And then the jerks in the poetry business. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you read this? Written by Michael Derrick Hudson of Fort Wayne, Indiana, a genealogist in a public library. Had to change his name after his poem was rejected by 40 different so-called poetry publications. But then they got it from a new author called Yi Fen Shu, and they jumped on it. All the little libs in the poetry business. Ooh, ooh well, that's good. That's really good. He's, he's a Chinese American. He's better than that, that white guy. That's a little scandal now in the poetry world. Everything is political in America. Everything's perverse and political. Here's some more headlines. A few more I didn't get to. Obama visits with top newspaper executives raising questions about media fairness. No kidding. Recent week's president has gotten cozy with top execs at major U.S. newspapers, headlining a Democratic Party fundraiser at the home of Las Vegas Sun owner Brian Greenspun. I don't like the change of the name, Greenspun. That was a mistake at Ellis Island. The Irish guy, his grandfather, I mean, it was Greenspan. The Irish guy spelled it wrong. He was running out for probably for a shot of whiskey. Or there was like, it's just wrong. He should have said Greenspan, not spun. It got stuck. Anyway, he owns... Las Vegas and Green, and dining at the Anchorage home of Alaska Dispatch news publisher Alice Rogoff. Alaska Dispatch? That's a, hot, that's a hot newspaper. It's like what the whales are doing. But journalism specialists say that they may have raised questions in the eyes of average Americans about the fairness of the news media, right? Here's one from the Washington Post by Anthony Fiola. Conservative dissent is brewing inside the Vatican. Here's one for you morons who don't know what the Trojan horse is. Islamic State reveals it has smuggled thousands of extremists into Europe. 4,000 ISIS gu gunmen smuggled into the EU under the guise of asylum. The only thing that could save Europe is a, a right-wing revolution. They have to overthrow their governments to, to survive. Only the soccer thugs can save England. Only the radical right can save Germany. Otherwise, they're finished. The nations are over. Listen to the story. The Syrian operative claimed more than 4,000 covert ISIS gunmen have been smuggled into the EU under the guise of refugees. Merkel? What happened to her? What drug is she on? Uh, let's see. We prefer Christian refugees, Cyprus says, because they adjust better to life. Gee, I wonder what the Pope's got to say about that. Pope Francis makes annulment of marriages cheaper and easier. That should bring more people back to the church. I don't know what the church stands for. Just take the wafer and that's it? You could do anything? You want to be gay, you're gay. You want to get divorced, get divorced. You want an abortion, get an abortion. What's the, what's the point of a church? Isn't a religion supposed to be like red and green lights for people? I mean, we're going to do what we want anyway, most of us, but at least you go and you feel bad from what you did. You go and you say, look, I'm sorry I did this. Okay, well, take the one. Good, you're okay, now come back. Now what? Now you can do anything, so why go to church at all? That's why Reformed Judaism is dead. It doesn't stand for anything. It has to be more of a religion than, than coffee cake, or let's say yogurt and fruit now. Well, what's in the religion of Reformed Judaism? It looks like a church in, in, in speaking. Same thing. Instead of a cross up front, it's something else. That's why Reformed Judaism is dead. The only part of Judaism that's thriving is the heavy Orthodox Judaism, because it has meaning. Otherwise, the rest is mumbo-jumbo to the people. It doesn't affect them. The kids don't want to go there. So there it is. That's the Savage Nation. It's one man's opinion. I hope you enjoyed it so far. There's more to come. Why are the people so damn stupid that they put up with these idiots? These criminals! They're criminals destroying the, the Western world, destroying it in front of your eyes. Why do we put up with it? Because we're weaklings and we don't deserve anymore. We deserve to lose everything that our ancestors gave us. You don't deserve a nation. Judge orders Christian clerk freed from jail. I put the judge in jail. He was afraid because there was going to be a protest outside that skinny twerp's church, outside his courtroom today, that rat, that rat judge who jailed her. I had, a, I had a lawyer on last Friday who was a mafia lawyer for 30 years, excuse me, organized crime lawyer for 30 years. He said he's never, he has seen murderers released on bail. 
He could not believe that this criminal judge in Kentucky put this poor Christian woman in jail because she wouldn't grant marriage licenses to homosexuals. Unbelievable. So he got frightened that the mob is liable to see what he looks like and trail him home. Yeah, well, let me stop right there. It's a national talk show. If you're still listening, if you haven't changed the dial yet for something else, something important. I don't know what else is more important than me. What would you rather listen to right now? Fox News with the leg, leg crosses and the twitching? What, what are they going to tell you? Murdoch is a senile old coot who said that Joe Biden's going to win. Murdoch's a, a senile coot. He built a huge empire, and just like the West itself, he's losing it. M Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch, who I affectionately called Moloch a number of years ago, and I don't know why he would take that as an offense, just because I called him Moloch 10 years ago, is that a reason to ban me from Fox News and have criminals and degenerates and pimps and perverts on it on a regular basis as guests? Why would they ban me? Just because I called the boss Moloch? Most people don't even know what Moloch means. Why would he get mad? It's not a dirty word. It's an affectionate term. Moloch is senile by all estimation. I gave you two headlines. Judge orders Christian clerk freed from jail. Oh, yeah, really? No kidding. I wonder why. Because the judge was afraid they'd lynch him. The mob was ready coming to the church. Not to lynch the woman, but to lynch the judge. That cowardly, punk, anti-American SOB. So suddenly released her finally. That rat. Appointed by George Bush, no less. Why, are you surprised? I'm not surprised. A Bush job. As Pope visit nears, U.S. Catholic Church faces financial strain. Well, maybe if he sh shut his mouth, the bouncer, and stopped talking about global warming, of which he knows nothing about that con man, and paid a little attention to the fact that they're going broke because of the molestation scandal, and straightened out the Catholic Church, uh, and stopped flooding the world with refugees, maybe they wouldn't be broke. I love this Pope, this, this liar. I couldn't believe the headline in the L.A. Times coming home. Asylum seekers spread west-north. Listen to this. The Pope urges every parish in Europe to take in one family as the arriving migrants disperse in Germany. That's a very nice idea, Mr. Pope. And I suggest that you start with your parish called the Vatican. Why don't you take in one Muslim family into the Vatican? Put your money where your mouth is. And by the way, I understand the church is going through a financial crisis under you because you can't pay the pensions of these poor priests. A pension crisis now. $2.2 billion in unfunded pensions. And it's coming due in the next five years as thousands of priests retire. U.S. Catholic Church has lost millions of its members over the past 14 years following the child abuse scandal. No kidding. No, you put your child in. You, know, you want your son to be an altar boy? Sure. Right. Yes. Yeah, you know, Mr. Malloy, Malloy will take care of him. Mommy, please. Mr. Malloy hurt me. Shut up. They don't do those things. Tarnishes reputation and forces their soul assets to pay billions of dollars in settlements. The church's finances are also under pressure from emptying pews and a demographic shift among Catholics to the U.S. South and suburbs that has left much of its inner city bricks and mortar underused and bleeding money. Pope's coming to Washington, New York, and Philly to shoot his mouth off about stuff he knows nothing about. He's got one reform after another. Everything liberal he's for. I don't know what to have a church for. Isn't the object of a church to tell you you're no good and you're not doing the right thing? What do you need a church for if telling you everything you do is okay? Everything is okay to this guy. Nothing's in Marijuana, whatever you want, abortion, divorce, it's all good. It's all good. He said, well, I don't understand why anyone goes to the church anymore. The number of adults who label themselves former Catholics, meanwhile, has more than doubled to 25 million since 2000. Church attendance has plateaued. Low donations by parishioners and rising ex expenditures led 24% of U.S. parishes into the red in 2013. Cost cutting has contributed to a decline in the number of U.S. parishes, a steep drop in the number of Catholic schools, as well as fewer hospitals, according to Carroll. Okay. And does that stop this guy from globetrotting and spewing lies about warming, of which he knows nothing about? Why would a man with a failing church, low attendance... Falling attendance, especially amongst, amongst the educated. And out of money, broke. Why would he m spend any of his capital on global warming? Do you know why? Did anyone put two and two together? A couple of reasons. 
One, because the New World Order wants to push the big lie, which I have refuted repeatedly.